Foxconn, the largest the contract manufacturer of electronic products, basically is the main supplier to Apple, announced that it's going to put a regional office in Zhengzhou. They had an operation in Zhengzhou, and they're putting a billion RMB additionally. Now, why is this important? It's important because Foxconn, under pressure from the U.S., including from Apple, started to move its assembly operation and contract manufacturing operations to Vietnam and India in the last four years. What happened? Is it coming back to China? If it is, what does it imply about their operations in India, especially, and in Vietnam? I think what's significant here is that companies are driven by profitability, by profit, and what China represents is the most efficient system for profit generation for these corporations. For example, the Chinese market itself creates economies of scale. For another example, China has the most sophisticated and advanced infrastructure to provide the supply chain efficiently and extremely quickly. Also, China has the engineers to be very, very responsive and sensitive to changes that need to be made. Can India match that? Market size, yes, but not on the, not in terms of per capita income. If you don't have the income, you don't have the purchasing power. So even if the population of India is larger, but at a per capita GDP at one fifth of China, it's very difficult to have the same consumption power. Infrastructure, India has a long, long way to go in terms of building infrastructure. Education, China went from 90% illiteracy when the People's Republic was formed to you can't find anyone who's illiterate today. You have a situation in which the variables that contribute to production, to efficiency, to profitability, all point to China. Now, under pressure from the U.S., some operations had been moved to Southeast Asia and India. The result, loss of profitability, especially in terms of Apple. Uh, we've seen a number of cases in which the production out of India simply could not meet the standards that was required to be sold worldwide. Vietnam has its own issues. Vietnam's main two issues, I, I think, were once the movement of some manufacturers started to go to Vietnam, everything became much more expensive. Real estate, factory land, labor, so on and so forth, all became much more expensive because of the rushing in of a lot of hot capital, hot money, in driving up the Vietnam stock market, driving up the Vietnam real estate, and driving up labor wages. Second, for Vietnam, there's also the issue of infrastructure. For much of last year, Vietnam had to purchase electricity from China across the border to avoid serious shutdown of industrial activity. They purchased quite a bit of electric power from China, and this continues to be a case for them. As you all know, electricity is a very important part of infrastructure, in addition to roads, transport, and so on. So I think there is a possibility that some of these manufacturing contract manufacturers will move back to China because the Chinese variables are so much more contributing to their profitability and efficiency. It's very, it's very, very difficult for China to be replaced. 朋友都知道我是很挑剔的，防晒乳我选 Kiss 皇家呵护抗光清爽高防晒凝露，因为它有媲美蓝光神盾的抓走植萃。保护我在阳光下延缓肌肤老化，维持青春弹力，可以防御工作环境里的三 C 商品、各种光源对肌肤的伤害，擦起来清爽不黏腻。我特别喜欢它做到海洋友善，三百六十五天，天天抗光抗老化，是我的保养日常。你呢？呵护你，呵护全家人，专属你的 KS Royal Care 抗光清爽高防晒凝露。